Hello, today we are solving the ninth question in the LeetCode Advanced SQL 50 list. This is salesperson. As usual, before looking at the question itself, let's look at the data they give us. The first table they give us is called salesperson and it is a list of salespeople. We have the ID of each salesperson, their name, how much money they make, their commission rate, and when they were hired. For example, the first salesperson, John, makes $100,000, has a commission rate of 6%, and was hired in 2006. They give us a second table called Company, which is a list of companies. We have the ID of the company, the name of the company, and the city the company is in. The first company, for example, is called Red, and it's in Boston. All the companies are named after colors. I don't know why, but that's how it is in this question. Then our final table here is called Orders. We have the ID of the order, the date the order was handled on, the company the order was done for, the salesperson who handled it, and the amount of money involved. So for example, the first order was done on January 1st, 2014. It was done for company number three, which we see here is the company called Yellow in Boston. It was handled by salesperson number four, which we see here is, num is uh, Pam, and there was $10,000 involved. They want us to find all salespeople who did not have any orders related to the company Red. We can see red here is the first company in our list. It's in Boston. And what we want to find is the names of these salespeople, right? We have John, Amy, Mark, Pam, and Alex. Which of them did not have an order for the company red? So intuitively, before we even get into code, how do we figure this out? How it works here is salespeople who each have a sales ID, right? They handle orders and these orders are done for specific companies i see john here with an id of one let's check here if john handled any orders yes there is one order here where the salesperson id was one that means john handled order number three okay and what company was this order for well we see the company id here it's one and if we go here and check in this company table the company id of one is red so john worked for red and we don't want to include him in our output now, instead of going through all these names one by one and seeing which company they work for, let's go in reverse. It'll be faster. First, we see red, the company red has a company ID of one. You can go in reverse and check the orders table in this column where the company ID is one. So we see these bottom two orders were handled for company one, which is red. Which salespeople handled these two orders? One and four. Who are one and four? We go up here. One is John, four is Pam. So John and Pam are the two people who worked for the company red they handled orders for that company they're the ones we don't want to include and we want to return everyone else in this case it would be amy mark and alex and this is what we want to return everyone who did not have an order for the company called red let's figure out how we can solve this a good first step always is to see what tables we need to use we want to return the names of the salespeople, which we can only find here in the salesperson table right so at the very least we need this table to get the names of the people we want to return, right? Amy, Mark, and Alex. We also need the company table because this has the company we want to filter for. Now, is that it? Can we just use these two tables? No, because we don't know which salesperson works for which company by these two tables alone, right? We just have each salesperson's information and then each company's information. We're going to need to use this orders table that combines the two, right? Each order has the salesperson who handled it and the company it was done for. So that's how we know which salesperson worked for which company through this orders table. We're gonna wanna join this table to this table wherever these two match, and then join this table to this table wherever these two match. Let's see what that would look like. We're just gonna select every column for, for now from our first table, joining our second table. Remember, we join these two tables wherever the sales IDs we're the same in both tables. So sales ID in the first table is equal to the sales ID in the second table. Then we're going to join our third table, company here. How do we do that? We combine the company ID in the orders table to the company ID in the company table. On company ID is equal to the company ID in the orders table. Let's see what we get. So there's a lot of data here. We have our columns from our salesperson table. So we have each salesperson, their salary, their commission rate when they were hired, etc. Then we have our information from our orders table, which has the each person's order. So John, we have this order of his. We have Pam, this order of hers. And then notice how we have Pam again. It's because she had two orders. So she has another order here. And then not only that, because we joined the company table as well, we have the company the order was done for. So John, his order that was handled here was done for this company called Red. Pam's first order was for yellow and her second order was for red. And Alex's 
was for green. So now that we've combined all of our tables together, we have all of our information in one place. Now, if we keep going down this road, this approach could work. Joining three tables together does get messy, and if the data set is like huge, if the tables are massive, it'll really slow us down. So what we can do instead is join two of our tables together and then use the last one as a filter. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now, what we can do instead is take two of our tables where we just join two of our tables together. We combine these two wherever the company ID match, just like our example. And what this will give us is each order along with the company it was for, right? If we join these two tables, we'll know if this was for red. This is not for red because we know company ID of three is yellow. Then we'll check this one, company ID of four, green, that's not red, so we will include it. And then we'll notice that these two were for the company red. So we will know that these two are for the company red and these two are not. Then we can use these IDs that we get to filter in our last table. So instead of you doing a triple join where we join salesperson to orders and then orders to company, we can just join two of our tables together and then use our result to filter in our third table. So let's try that. Instead of joining all three tables together, we're gonna join orders and company and then use whatever we get here to find salespeople who didn't work for red. So we're gonna select all columns for now from our orders table, join it to our company table, wherever the company ID in both tables is the same. This is what happens when we join our orders and company table together. We have our order information, right? This is the fourth order done on this day by this company, by this salesperson, and there was $25,000 involved. And now we also have what company it was for. We know this order was done for the company red. Notice that each row also has the salesperson who handled that order. Number four handled this, number one handled this, number four handled this, and number five handled this. So what we can do now is get the salespeople, the sales IDs, instead we're gonna select only the sales IDs from this joint table where the company name is red. This will give us a list of people who did work for red. So let's filter where company dot name is equal to red. Let's see what we get. Here we are, sales ID one and four. These two salespeople worked for the company red. Now, if we go back to our drawing, we know which salespeople worked for red, right? The query we have gave us a list like this, one, four. What we can do now is look in our salespeople table and select salespeople who are not in here, who do not have this ID. So we're gonna check the first one. John, is his sales ID in here? Yes, it is. He worked for red, so we're not gonna include him. Amy, is her sales ID in here? No, so we're gonna add her to our output. What about Mark? No, three is, three is not in here. We're gonna add Mark. Pam, four, yes, four is in here. Do not add Pam. And then Alex, ID of five, is it five in here? No, so add Alex to our output. So now that we got a list of people who did work for the company Red, we can use that as a filter in this big salespeople table. So let's do just what we did. We're gonna select the names of the salespeople, our salesperson table. We want where that salesperson's ID is not in this. Remember, this gives us one in four. So what we don't want people with that sales ID, here we are, this is what we have. Let's see what this gives us. Perfect, our result is accepted. Here is our output, Amy, Mark, and Alex, and this is what they expected, Amy, Mark, and Alex. Let's submit, awesome. Our solution is accepted. That's all, thank you for watching.